Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the new Ranga Samurai model pen that's been released. I believe you can order it through their standard form and it has a variety of different colors. This one is their P2 black cracked ice model and as the name indicates it's pretty fitting. You've got the cracked resin or acrylic, I'm sorry, um, into there and it's just a nice cigar shaped. What's new is in this particular model is the clip. They've redesigned their clip from a standard arc clip to this new, I guess, arc with a little bit of a bulb at the end, I guess, in that scenario. It's still nice and springy, so you're able to, as you can hear it, still get it into a lot of cloths. Does not look like it might snag, though, at the bottom. I know it's a little tough to see, um, but maybe there's some sharpness right there at the clip end of it that might catch on something. But other than that, nothing too much. Um, it's inlaid into the top. As you can see the groove line across there. But you've got your standard cigar shape, as I mentioned. It has the rounded finial at the cap and at the bottom. It does narrow and taper as it goes down a little bit, so it's a little bit smaller at the bottom. Um, Ranga does a lot of different nib sizes in, in their offering, which is kind of nice. Everything from uh, Yovo to Bach to Schmidt to their own gold uh, nibs as well too, and a variety of sizes from fine to double broad in a lot of different nibs. So the nib selection is pretty extensive for being handmade out of India. Um, this particular one is a cartridge converter and I did get the uh, Yovo nib in here in a medium uh, versus anything else. I typically will go with the medium nib for most uh, of my pens. I find that that's a nice feed or nice uh, sticking point. Um, they do have something a little bit different. The flare out is a little bit different than some of their other models. This is actually a smooth transition out so your grip has a nice resting spot, um, if you will. Some of their other models typically have more of a, a very pronounced flare, almost a, a, a secondary step, if you will, up to the next section. So um, both work, both give you a nice grip and keep your fingers away from the nib. This particular version of the Ranga is almost like a hard stop, which is kind of nice. If you're interested, your, your, your hands are not going to slip down into uh, the nib area at all. It's basically going to be stuck right in this section here, which is kind of nice. Um, when you're doing it and that one will be reviewed a little bit later. This one's again, like I said, it's got the nice, it's got the nice flare up versus what we just saw here. So it's a smooth transition. It's all aesthetics and looks, if you will. So it's a nice visual aid for me. I think between the two, I'm more prone to like this one, but again, it's, it's a preference thing. The other one has just got a nice hard stop to it. Um, these are standard cartridge, international cartridge converters. Um, tons of threads. Um, it's just a Schmidt converter. So you can obviously use any ink you want. Um, just pressure or friction fit into there versus uh, screw on. So you can definitely do that. Um, they are, there are no metal pieces in here. It's all acrylic. And uh, you could probably, with a little bit of a seal here, you could probably eyedropper this as well if you're so inclined and go that route. Uh, but as I mentioned, tons and tons of threads into it. Uh, this grip section also slides a little bit for us. So you don't feel the teeth from um, the cap drain. But again, they're so smooth, even if your hands for some reason were resting on them, even though this is a fairly long grip section, you're gonna be pretty fine with it. Uh, and again, just don't need to post it, at least for me. I can wear it non-posted, if you will. Um, but is it postable? I guess you could do it. It sits fairly, it sits fairly nice. It does back weight the pen a lot, so I, in general, prefer not to post my pens uh, in that scenario. 
uh, it is not a small pen by any means, so it's got some um, size to it. So here it is against um, my uh, River City Pen Company. Uh, not as big as that, but it, it's pretty close to it. If you're looking at something else, you've got the Talisman uh, Lucky, Four Leaf Clover Lucky, um, Banu Talisman pen. So you've got your nice, it's in between, it kind of fits really nice to what you're trying to do uh, with a pen. It's nothing too large. We'll talk about this one a little bit later. Um, but it's definitely a nice pen. I, I've, I've liked Ranga. Their price to value is really good, especially a lot with their Ebonite. Uh, options. They are all handmade, so it's kind of getting a nice custom pen made within the uh, for, for a you know a reasonably good price kind of scenario, and with ebonite feeds versus plastic feeds, so it's a nice option. Um, from a writing sample perspective, we're just going to try Edelstein's uh, Pelican's Moonstone. So I think kind of works with some of the light grays into here and seeing what we can do. Um, so we'll give that a whirl and just see how this writes. I haven't inked it up yet, so we're just going to do it as a dip pen test kind of scenario. Uh, I am using uh, Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM, the old paper, not the new ones. And this is a Galen uh, Leather Everyday Book. So it's a nice uh, carry around. And you'll see that a lot in a lot of the other viewers out there or reviewers out there. So we'll just do this as a dip pen test. More ink, maybe. And this is the P two in black. cracked ice and this is a medium stainless steel nib um, again not a whole lot of line variations it's your standard steel yovo nib a little pressure will get you some uh, but you know you don't want to go too crazy with it it's not a flex nib uh, it's fairly wet as you can see and again for a medium nib and this ink is obviously a little bit lighter for the moonstone so you're not going to get too much out of it but you'll get some shading here and there um, so it flows really nicely and again I'm just doing this as a dip so I'm not getting a, obviously a full feed or a full flow out of it um, in that scenario but it gives you an idea of the nib size again and how it writes from a perspective, you know, medium. Um, and that's kind of obviously because I'm running a little bit low on ink. So again, this is the Ranga Pen Company. This is their Samurai uh, model release. Uh, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.